Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sing. And we have a gigantic Shopkins haul today. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Shopkins, whether you're a fan or not. Um, we did film one Shopkins video previously. If you'd like to check that out, I will link in the description. Um, so Shopkins is already on season nine, which is crazy. There have been nine, you know, waves of yeah. Shopkins toys. So the name, by the way, of this series is uh, Wild Style, and I believe it's based on the upcoming Shopkins movie, which seems to be very animal-centric um, because this series seems to focus a lot on, you know, pets and creatures, that kind of thing. Um, and so we have pretty much <laughs> at least one of everything from all the main lines of toys in this season. Uh, we have a Season 9 Wild Style Mega Pack down here. We have a Pet Pod, one unopened, and I have two that I've already opened. I can show you guys what was inside. Um, we have two Shoppies dolls, and we have one Shop It, uh, which I'm pretty sure is one of like the brand new things Shopkins is doing for this season. Um, it's basically little flocked animal figures. Um, they're very cute. And the star of the show today, if you can't tell, <laughs> if you're familiar with the series, is miraculously, <laughs> we found a limited edition character in store today. Uh, which if you are at all familiar with Shopkins, like limited edition Shopkins are ridiculous. Like they're crazy rare, they're sold at inflated prices online, it's insane. Um, and Miss Bella, who is the one of the limited edition characters in this wave, um, is limited count. Uh, there were only 10,000 of her made worldwide. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get opening this stuff. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be opening up is a Shopkins Pet Pod. Uh, these are new, exclusive to the Wild Style line and Season 9. Um, the packaging is pretty cute. Uh, you get to see there are little pet themed pods and they contain two mystery Shopkins. There are many different kinds, you know, you know little different pets and stuff. Um, never know what you're gonna get and of course because this is Shopkins there is a rare and in this case it's all unicorn themed the rares are unicorns in this series it's unicorns and magical yes so let's go ahead and open this up and see which one we got it looks pink oh it's cute that's like a piggy Oh, it's a cat. cat. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a little kitty, very cute, very Valentine's looking. She has paw prints and hearts on her and a little curly tail. Let's see what's inside. There are two mini Shopkins inside each pet, pet pod, so let's see who we got. Oh. I mean, it's kind of greenish, makes it as a lemon or like It looks lime. like a lemon. Or it looks lime. more like a lemon okay. to me. So that's actually one of the gimmicks of, um, this season is that, um, and I actually really appreciate this, it makes me like <laughs> care more about Shopkins than I originally would. Um, they have deluxe textures and finishes in this season, so there's actually like translucent Shopkins and flock Shopkins and squishy Shopkins. Um, so they're definitely putting their best foot forward in this season. So this Shopkins name is Zippy Lime Bag. <laughs> Lime Bag, that's interesting. Let's see what the next one is. Ooh. This one's glittery. She's glittery. A glittery camera. Oh, she's very cute. Let's see what her name is. All right, so this Shopkins name is Pamela Camera. She has a nice little bow, and she has glitter on her. So these are very cute. Um, these pet pods are really cheap, by the way. They're very affordable. They're only $2.99. Um, and you get a pet pod container and, you know, two Shopkins. Mm -hmm. Comes with this little, like, booklet for all the characters. Mm -hmm. There's well, quite I'd... a few. Yeah, I really like this series, actually. There's a lot of cute stuff, and it's themed for character. There's, like, Rainbow Kate is rainbow-themed, and, you know, all, I don't know all the characters' names. Yeah, but, <laughs> but yeah, super rare ones. They're ridiculously rare. Yeah. So, yeah, I had some, two that I already opened, so I have a little sugar pink kitty, and inside this one I got... These two, I don't know this one's name, it's like a little 
a little ombre shoe. Stellas. Stella Citrus, I believe. This, I was actually really happy I got this one. I think she's super cute. She's like, um, and she matches one of the dolls we will be reviewing today. Uh, Nicole Parasol. Nicole Parasol, yeah. So she's very cute. Those are the two I got in that one, and then I have one other opened one, and it was, it's all cats. <laughs> yeah, this one was like a minty kitty, and um, inside this one, it had one of the different finishes. Um, so this one is a squishy, which I mean, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on this. I don't think Shopkins have done squishies before because they're making a big deal about the quote unquote like deluxe textures and finishes mm -hmm. in this one. So yeah, this little waffle girl is very squishy. She has hearts on her. Juanita. Juanita waffle. Here's the other one is, so she looks birthday cakey. All right, so this one's name is Candace Candle, and she is very cute. She's like a little melty birthday cake. So yeah, those are the Wild Style Shopkins Pet Pods. Um, again, they are $2.99, finding them mainly at Target nowadays. All right, next up we have the Wild Style Mega Pack. Uh, this costs $17.99. Um, that price is a little bit interesting to me, but I mean, I guess, it's an all right deal because it comes with 20 Shopkins, uh, two of which you, you can find out what they are right away because they're shown in the packaging and the other 18 are a mystery. So yeah, the packaging on this is super cute. You know, um, it's just, this is the back of it is the same as the collector's guide and lets you know possibilities of what could be inside. So let's open it up and see who we find. All right, so these are the two Shopkins that are visible from the outside of the packaging. Um, there's different variants, by the way, so these two are not the guaranteed ones you'll see. But this right here is Candy Kisses. It's a little heart girl covered in hearts. And this one is Maribel Music Player. She is covered in glitter. All right, and so the rest of them come in a big giant plastic pack. So we will show them to you guys. And these characters, each of these characters also, they belong to different tribes. Um, and certain tribes have different gimmicks. Like there's, you know, one tribe is all the flocked stuff and one is all the glittery stuff, you know, and the squishy stuff and so forth. So there's even a color changing one, apparently. All right, so the first one we got is Apple Blossom. is a cute translucent green. And the next one is Petite Petals. This looks like a little bouquet. Next up, we have a stack of pancakes named Primrose Pancakes. And we have a blue cupcake named Cupcake Crumbles. We have a clear yellow fruit girl named Fran Fruit Hat. And then we have a purple glittery bag named Missy Makeup Case. Lovely Hearts Teapot. Uh, we got two duplicates, which we already showed you guys in a Zippy Lemon Bag and Stella Citrus Shoe. Uh, and then we got Kalista Cake, which is a cute glittery little birthday cake. We got a lot of the glitter ones <laughs> from the looks of it. We also got Honey Hearts, which looks like a little box of candy hearts and Mitzi Oven Mitt. And what is, we're under the impression, the rarest one we got in this package was um, Cupcake Queen and Sherry Chalk Chip Bread, Lena Loaf. She looks more like a croissant than a loaf of bread. And from the Rainbow Dreamers tribe, we have Color Cake and we have Spilt Milk of the dairy themed tribe. It's like a little carton of milk. Finally, we have Polly Polish from the Glamour Gems tribe. Uh, so one other thing that these packs come with is some very, very metallic unicorn tattoos. Yeah, they're very cute. All right, so now we are going to be reviewing one of the Shop It's from Shopkins Season 9. Um, as I said before, these are cute, flocked little animal figures, and this is the Shop It of Rainbow Kate. Um, her name is Bunny Bo. As you can see, she's a cute little bunny. Um, so before we get into the figure itself and the Shopkins she comes with, we'll just briefly go over the packaging. Um, I really like Shopkins packaging. It's super cute. It's always very colorful, you know, pops out at you. I really like the metallic and the logo and the artwork of Bunny Bo. The back of the box is very cute. You get a little blurb about Bunny Bo and some artwork of some other characters in the Rainbow Chasers tribe, which is Rainbow Kate's tribe. 
Um, yeah, super cute packaging. So let's go ahead and open her up, get a look at the figure. All right, so here is Bunny Bo out of box. She is super adorable. She has little wide purple eyes and a little toothpaste looking swirl on her forehead in pink, blue, and purple. Um, she has ombre pink little eeries and she's wearing a plastic yellow outfit and some puffy plastic multicolored pants. Um, what I really like about these figures is, um, you know, aside from the fact they're actually very affordable, you know, they cost uh, $5.99, like six bucks, uh, you can move their heads, so their heads are articulated and saying notice you can move their arms like a sort of. little bit yeah and they come with a stand so you can display them nicely which i really appreciate uh the shopkin she comes with is super cute too it's like a little rainbowy slice of cake her name is carota 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 <laughs> carota cake and she's supposed to be a slice of carrot cake with a rainbow very cute i like these two simple but very affordable and yeah colorful too yeah all right, now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of this line, the Shoppies dolls. Um, there are quite a few in season nine. Uh, this one is Rainbow Kate. Uh, she is a returning major character in the Shopkins series. And uh, for this particular release, you know, she's decked out in her wild style. And like her friend, Bunny Bo, she is rabbit themed. Um, Packaging on her box is again, very colorful, very cute. There's artwork of her and Bunny. And in the back, there's, you know, a little blurb on Rainbow Kate. You get to see some other characters in the Rainbow Dreamers tribe. I really like Shopkins art, as I said before. Super cute. Pops out at you. So let's go ahead and open her up. All right, so here is Wild Style Rainbow Kate out of box. And she is adorable, um, aside from the limited edition girl. This was what I would personally categorize as the only must-have that I've seen so far on the shelf. Um, I think she's super cute. She has some side swept bangs that are multicolored, you know, in Rainbow Kate's usual pink, blue, and lavender. Um, and she has her usual freckles, and she's wearing a little bunny themed hat with some ears and what makes me think of like cheesecake on the top. And she is wearing a plastic yellow top to match Bunny Bow and uh, puffy pants to also match Bunny Bow, although unlike Bunny's pants, um, Rainbow more Kate's... more like a rainbow. Yeah, her, her pants are an actual rainbow. It's the actual colors of the rainbow. I don't know if all of them are in there, but... Um, and her pants are actual fabric, which is very nice. Um, and they're lined with a little lace trim on the bottom. And she is wearing plastic socks and little cute bunny shoes that are removable. You can take them off if you'd like. Um, and she comes with a stand, so you can display her. Um, I was just telling saying off camera, um, I mean, this is, it's, it's a little bit unkempt from certain angles, but it looks really nice from certain angles. Um, I'm actually usually pretty impressed with Shopkins They're hair. They're pretty colors. It is, yeah, and you can tell they do, they kind of style it. There's a nice curl to it. And she comes with two of her own Shopkins, of course. Uh, there is Raina Balloon. I guess she's supposed to be a little rainbow balloon and colorful clutch. So those are the two little Shopkin friends she comes with. Um, would have been cool if, uh, like they did, I forget the name of the series, this was the last ones we reviewed where the stand they came with let you also pose the Shopkins on the stand. That was really nice. I wish they would have done that for, for this wave as well. Um, and you also get a cute little lanyard with this. Um, it's themed to the character. You know, would like perfectly fit a little kid's wrist. Yeah. Lanyards are usually on necks. Yeah. This looks small I for know, a neck. It's a choker. <laughs> <laughs> Even for a kid, this looks small. But yeah. Um, yeah, at least you can tighten it, make it a bracelet, do whatever you want. But yeah, the design on it is very cute and Rainbow Kate themed. And these little pieces are cute. It's like a little, little selfie sesh with her and the other Rainbow Dreamers tribe characters. Comes with a lot of cool stuff, and um, so the Shoppy dolls in this wave, as with most Shoppies, they cost $14.99. We found this at Target. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as I mentioned before, we got lucky enough to find the limited edition Shoppy doll from season nine of Shopkins, Mistabella of the Shimmery Unicorns tribe. 
Um, she is very limited edition. She's limited count. Only 10,000 of her were made. Uh, so she does come with, you know, the little, I don't, know if you can, I don't even know if you can call them certificates of authenticity. They're kind of like little metallic coins. They tell you what number you received. Um, and she is lovely. We will take her out of box. We're going to unbox her. Um, Get up there, Ramon. <laughs> yeah. Her packaging is a little bit extra flashy because I feel like there's like more it metallic. Only, well, it hers. just it says limited edition on the bottom. Yeah, it says limited edition on the bottom. Um, so it's super metallic, super pretty, and you can see her friend Rainbow Sparkle in the background, which by the way, there is also a limited edition Shop It character who's also a unicorn, and she is also a limited count, um, only 10,000 of her were made as well. Unfortunately, have not found her. We'll see if eventually I do. And in the back of the box on Miss Bella is very cute. I love her art. Her art's very pretty. She's the shoppy everyone dreams about. You know, get her little blurb. All that good stuff, and you know, the ridiculously rare shop pins no one ever find <laughs> that will sell for $600 on eBay. Yeah, and you know, you have to get <laughs> and you know, completists will actually buy it because they've yes. got one of them and they want them all. Uh, so they are bracelets, they're not they're not yet lanyards. Yeah, I guess you just have to, it looks like you have to like double, like tighten it or wrap it. If yeah, you have like small it. wrists. Yeah. So that is it for Miss Bella's lovely packaging. So we're gonna give you guys a good look at her out of box. All right, so here is the gorgeous Mista Bella out of box. There's so much going on. <laughs> um, so as you can see, she is very unicorn themed. Um, she is wearing um, a really pretty, kind of like a tiara. Um, it's like a milky yellow color. It has some nice detail on it. And she has some faux unicorn ears coming out on either side and a beautiful, glitter encrusted white horn coming out of the front um, and her hair is to die for. She mm -hmm. has um, very pretty like white silver yeah. um, mm -hmm. hair that has some um, light blue and lavender um, highlights that are on the sides that are curled back. Yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's funny, like part of me feels like it's like a lot and almost kind of like wild and unkempt, but part of me thinks it's gorgeous because there's like a very nice like cascade kind of going down and the curls there. It's really nice. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Her hair is tied back into these little um, tight buns right there. It's very, it reminds me of Sailor Moon. It is it so me, Sailor Moon. It reminds yeah. me of... Um, yeah, like Princess Serenity yeah. or Queen Serenity, yeah. It has like, and she also has these glitter wings that she has on the back. Gorgeous wings. Her wings remind yeah. me of uh, card captures. Yeah, she's a very magical girl. Um, oh, the back of the dress is really pretty too. Yeah, so there's a little star and wings there. Her eyes are really cool. Um, her eyes are like multicolored. There's like yellow and blue and pink. Um, moving on to her outfit. Um, you know, as with most shoppies, she has a plastic top. Um, you know, the upper trim is like, it's shaped like little clouds and there's a rainbow going over her chest. She's wearing like two little white arm cuffs that also remind me of clouds. And they're kind of metallic. So she's wearing this um, white glitter dress right here. This is after cloth. And on top of it, it has this mesh rainbow um, trail that wraps around and it's multicolored with um, a little bit of yellow, red and pink and blue on there. It's very pretty and it definitely stands out against the the whiteness of her dress and you can tell in the back it's intense rainbow vibes going on yep. there. Cut really nicely at the bottom. Her shoes are like these cute little cloud puffs with some yellow stars on them. Um, and there's a nice little rainbow that wraps around her leg. And she comes with a stand. Um, part of me was wondering if she was gonna come with like a special stand, but it doesn't look like, mm -hmm. look like it. It's just like a standard clear Shopkin stand. And she does come with two deluxe Shopkins friends as well. I really like the Unicorn Shopkins. They're super cute. And the two she comes with are Cornelia Ice Cream on the left and Mystic Wishes on the right, which is supposed to be kind of like like a little wish bottle with a charm. Um, and they are covered in glitter, of course. And I would say they're more 
colorful than your average Shopkin. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different colors on them, and there are unicorn faces on both of their heads. So, of course, something very special that only limited edition Shopkins come with is um, the limited edition coin, where it lets you know um, that you do have a rare and limited count item. Um, as I said, only 10,000 of her were made, and mine was number 1,288. The coin itself is gorgeous. It's like yeah. super multicolored. And I love how the other side is just kind of like a picture of Miss Bella and the unicorn. Very pretty. And like other Shopkins in the line, it comes with this set of photos of her and her buddies. Well, I guess on the other, so on the other side, it's, um, I'll yeah, hold my yeah, on the other side, it's a code uh, that lets you, you know, download, use something in the app, the Shopkins app. It's unfortunate that you have to find the limited edition item to get this lanyard, but um, Miss Bella, like the other shoppies, comes with a lanyard, and hers is, you know, Shimmery Unicorn Tribe themed. It has her and her friends on either side. It's mostly lavender. Very cute. A nice little bracelet. All right, so these are our final thoughts on Season 9 Wild Style Shopkins. If you watched our previous Shopkins video, you may remember me and like all of us basically saying we're not usually that into Shopkins, um, mainly just because, I don't know, the super bubbly, cartoony style um, didn't speak to me a whole lot as an adult collector. But I would definitely say season nine has stepped it up quite a bit. Um, I really appreciate they're adding all these new different types of toys and textures and the quote unquote, the deluxe finishes, I think are really nice, add a lot of appeal. Um, a lot of this stuff is pretty affordable too, like would price really nicely. I mean, Sang and I have kind of debated whether or not the dolls are worth $15. I would say Miss Bella absolutely is, but it's debatable with some of the other girls. Um, but I feel very shocked and lucky that I found Miss Bella um, because for a really long time, um, if you're a doll collector in general, at least for me personally, like I've wanted like a unicorn doll like that actually is, you know, cute, pretty unicorn themed. Um, and ironically, I feel like there haven't been that many outside of like customs and or really lame generic ones or something like that. Um, so I really appreciate this release. Um, it's a little bit frustrating that she's like super limited count and it's gonna be hard to find, but I think she is gorgeous. I would highly recommend her. I would say, I mean, you, know. you can't really recommend something you can find, so. <laughs> Well, if you are lucky enough to find her, buy her immediately. Um, Rainbow Kate, I think, is super cute as well. Um, the shop bits in general, um, some of the shop bits just don't do it for me because some of them, they just like, they look too much like each other. There's a lot of like dogs and cats and stuff like that that are okay to me. I think this line will be extremely appealing to younger fans of Shopkins. Um, and older fans as well because like I said, they're just, they're really upping the detail. I like the pet pods. I think they're a really good deal for three bucks. You get a case that you can put multiple Shopkins in if you want and you get two mystery ones. This gets a yes from me, generally speaking. I hope can Shopkins continues to go in this direction. I don't really follow Shopkins, but definitely I do appreciate the quality in designing some of these characters. I think some of the Shopkin dolls have really nice hair not just in terms of like style, but it's also like the colors and I think it's a very cute line and definitely the whole idea of like limited edition is a little controversial. I feel bad for kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's definitely like if your kid is into shopping and they really want this rare toy, you know, you as a parent like, what are you gonna do? There's a market out there for scalpers to collect these and mm. sell them for a ridiculous amount of uh, money yeah. um, and you know, they know that parents are desperate and they, they know that, you know, there's certain parents who will buy anything for the kid regardless of the price. Definitely something that's a little shady about the industry where limited editions are kind of like the norm. They're all doing it now. Yeah, they're like all doing rares, it. Rares, rares, like it's mm -hmm. in every, yeah, and it's obviously... There's definitely yeah. a market for it, but again, it's just, it, it feeds into scalpers and all that. And I hope you the best of luck if you are looking for these, um, you know, we found um, these, I mean, they've been found at Target and Walmart. All right, so that has been a review of Shopkins Season 9, Wild Style. Um, let us know in the comments if there's any particular one you want. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.